Thailand is one of the favorite holiday destinations for Indians and a country that has traditionally had friendly ties with India. But did you know, around 330 years ago, the Thai Navy launched a massive attack on the coast of Andhra Pradesh? Hi, I'm Akshay Chavan and I'm going to tell you the story of the Siam Golconda War of 1685. Today, Narsapuram in the West Kodavari district of Andhra Pradesh is a thoroughly modern town and as a result, few people are aware of its historic past. But in the 17th century, it was one of the most important trading centres on the east coast of India, second only to Machli Patnam. Traders from all over the world, from France to China, thronged here due to its thriving trade in fine textiles. And it was Narsapuram that was at the epicentre of the Thai naval attack in 1686. Narsapuram was then under the Golconda Sultanate whose ruler was Sultan Abdul Hasan Tana Shah, the eighth and the last ruler of the Qutub Shahi dynasty. In the 16th and the 17th centuries, the Kingdom of Golconda was one of the richest in the world thanks to the trade in its famous diamonds as well as textiles. Not just the Europeans, but even merchants from Persia, Armenia, China and Thailand came here for a slice in the global trade. The chief port of the Golconda Sultanate was Machli Patnam, which was then the fourth largest city in India after Delhi, Agra and Surat. Historically, the Golconda Sultanate had good relations with the Kingdom of Siam as Thailand was officially known then. It was from the port of Mergui, just beyond the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, that Thai merchants arrived in Machli Patnam and Narsapuram for their trade. The kings of Siam and Golconda also frequently received each other's embassies at Ayutthaya and Hyderabad. So what went wrong between the two? Sultan Abdul Hasan Tana Shah was an exceptionally weak ruler and as a result, the Sultanate's administration fell into disarray. During the medieval period, the chief authority of the ports was called Shahabandar, an office which combined the duties of a local governor as well as the head of customs. In 1680s, the Shahabandar of Machli Patnam was a man named Ali Beg who was exceptionally corrupt. He would harass foreign merchants for bribes and seize their goods if the bribes were not paid. A number of Thai merchants fell victim to Shah Bandar's extractions and had their goods seized. They complained to King Narai the Great, considered to be one of the greatest kings of Thailand. In 1683, King Narai sent an embassy to Hyderabad demanding that the harassment of the Thai merchants be stopped and they be compensated for their losses. The Qutub Shahi court, which was in chaos due to the Mughal threat from the north, paid no attention to the Thai demands. Finally, in 1684, King Narai gave orders for a fleet to be prepared for the naval war against Golconda and the war began the following year. A number of Golconda ships were seized by the Thai Navy and taken to the port of Mergui. By November 1685, the Thai naval ships were heading towards the Andhra coast. They were headed by a man named Captain John Coates, an English adventurer working for the King of Thailand. The main attack took place on 22nd November 1685, in which the Thai Navy under Captain Coates bombed the ships docked at Narsapuram. The local inhabitants were taken by surprise and fled the town in panic. The European merchants also took refuge in their factories. The British East India Company officials were confused as to why an Englishman was attacking the port and they scrambled to convince the Golconda officials that Captain Coates worked for the King of Thailand and they had nothing to do with him. A long round of negotiations followed between Captain Coates and the Golconda representatives in which the Golconda officials promised to release all the goods and ships seized from the Thai merchants and promised not to harass them. Captain Coates and the Thai Navy sailed back to Mergui. Just two years later, in 1687, the armies of Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb would conquer Golconda and the Qutub Shahi Kingdom would end. 
Machlipatnam too declined in importance and Thai merchants stopped coming here. With this, the story of the Thai Golconda War and the attack on the coast of Andhra Pradesh faded into oblivion.